I don't know if this is considered lazy and uncreative considering I already did this before. Like I've renovated this lot in Granite Falls and made it into a youth center because I feel like, I mean, I think we all agree on this that like vacation worlds really don't have much to them. Um, I don't know. I just like, it doesn't really fit my gameplay, which my gameplay is like severe ADHD style. Like I spend like 10 minutes on a build or I spend five hours on a build. <laughs> and so like, I like the whole collecting aspect, but I feel like it's a little bit difficult at times. And there's just nothing to do in Granite Falls, so I decided, because I do want to make my own save file, so that's what I've kind of been doing. So right before this, the, this video comes out after the video that I did renovating the gym in Willow Creek, which when I built this, I'm not quite sure. I know it was last year sometime in my second semester and I'm now in my second semester of freshman year and I'm now in my first semester of my sophomore year so that's how you know I put off voiceovers <laughs> like I I don't like doing voiceovers but I was frustrated today because last night I was supposed to stream and I was going to do some building because I did this weird, like, Mediterranean-style mansion. And I was going to stream myself, like, uh, finishing up the build. Like, I have the outside done, but I don't have any of the windows. Like, I just have, like, the shell, I guess you could say. But my my streaming equipment, my, like, my laptop is a gaming laptop that's set up so that all I have to do is literally like press a few buttons and I'll be streaming directly to Twitch. So I did everything and I don't know gaming stuff. I play the Sims and whenever re real gamers, <laughs> you know, the gamers that do all the games and little old Sims player me, like I don't know anything. Um, I don't, but I love when people are like, I'm a real gamer. I, you're not a real gamer, you play The Sims. And it's like, oh, go away. Every time, I don't normally, that was my chair, by the way, if you can hear that weird creaking sound. Um, I don't normally go outside, but when I do, if I have my laptop with me and a fellow gamer sees my laptop, because it's like fairly obvious that it's not a normal computer like the keyboard glows red like if you've seen the keyboards that we have in the game now i think they come with strangerville or are they base game no i think they're base game because i think they come it's they're like a uh, reward for the freelance option but yeah so it looks like the one where the red keyboard is glow like it's a glowing red keyboard and so people will be like, oh my gosh, you do you do gaming? And I'll be like, yeah. And they're like, oh, what kind of games do you play? And I'm like, I only play The Sims. I got a gaming laptop purely because I knew that I, I have all the DLCs because I don't spend my money on anything other than Sims. Or I did in high school, but now I spend money on other stuff because now I go places and do things sometimes, occasionally. Not often, but... Um, so I have all the DLCs, which means my game runs horribly on like low res laptops and stuff and the pc that i have at my house like my family's pc was not running it very well it it's an old computer i think we got it probably around the time it was like six or seven probably older than that but i'm not positive i mean it's gotten updates and stuff but like it's not a it's not a good power laptop i guess or it's not a laptop in general so i was like i need a laptop that will run reasonably well. It needs to be not freakishly expensive because um, I don't have like a freakish amount of money because I go to a private college and not going to say which college because privacy, but I live in Michigan. And so if you don't know, <laughs> we, we don't have great financial aid for that stuff. So I didn't have a ton of money, but I did have money 
from my open house. If you are in the, if you aren't from the states, because I know they don't do this in Canada. My cousins are from Canada, uh, or they're in, they live in Canada. They're not from Canada. They live there, but I know they don't do that there. But in the states, we do open houses after someone graduates, and it is kind of, and no one ever says it, and you never like state, like oh, bring it. It's just kind of like an unsaid unspoken thing that at these open houses you bring the graduate money so you invite as many people as you can because sometimes people won't attend but they'll feel guilty and then they'll send you money do I sound awful yes but no this is just a thing and so I had some money from that and so I was like I need a decent laptop so I I don't know what my laptop is called. It's a Lenovo laptop. Does it say? I don't know. My laptop's covered in stickers right now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of laptop it is, but it glows red. It is considered a PC laptop. If any gamers are in the comments below, please tell me what that means. I don't know. So it technically runs as a PC and that way I can have the Sims on it and all that stuff, and it runs decently well. I, re I have a recording system built in, so I don't have to use like OBS and stuff, but um, I was, I never had an experience like that where it didn't go to Twitch. I was connected to the internet, everything was, I was logged into my Twitch account, and so I was like, I can't believe what is happening, and it was driving me nuts. So I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm not quite sure what happened there. But, uh, the, <laughs> let me get back to the build and try to be an actual, uh, speed builder here. But in this build, um, I had already done this previously. So if you've watched my channel before and you've seen the first build I did, you, it, it doesn't, I don't actually remember what the original one looked like, but it looks a little different because I remember that I used to play Link and Logs when I was younger. I'm going to go off on a tangent. Me and my cousins go, our families would go camping every single year. We go to the same campground and uh, generally the same people would be there because um, it was a lot of homeschool kids would be there because it was around Labor Day is when we would go, which is like right before school starts if you're not from the state. Is Labor Day just an American thing? If, it, if it's not, and it's like some really obvious thing, I'm going to feel so dumb. But genuinely, um, I'm not quite sure what Labor Day is. I believe it has something to do with the military, and I probably sound like a complete idiot. Or is it President's... What is Labor Day? Oh, it's the creation of the labor movement and dedicated to the social and economic achievements of American workers. Oh, um, thank you, public education. <laughs> oh, I feel so dumb right now. But yes, Labor Day is September 7th. So it's around that time. And there's always a lot of like homeschool kids. We usually see the same amount of same, same people. We're not homeschoolers. Me and my cousins are not. Uh, and we were never friends with homeschoolers because they kind of ran in crews. I don't know why. I have friends who are homeschooled now, and I'm like, what? do you guys, like, running crews? And she's like, kind of. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. What am I doing? Oh, I was renaming it, because I must have forgotten what I named it in the first place. So, anyways, this one kid we met on the playground, there were, like, five or six different playgrounds. This was one that was, like, a bigger playground. Um... It was an old, old playground. It has not been updated in the past 20 years that we have been going to this uh, campground. So if that doesn't tell you something. Um, our national parks do not have great money resources. Yay. Um, so we met this one kid. And in general, if you haven't been camping a lot, when you meet other kids you generally don't go into each other's campers. It's just kind of like a thing. You just don't. I don't think I can say a single time where I met someone camping where I ever went into their campers. You usually hung out when you did hang, if you met someone and like hung out with them, you pretty much only like hung out with them like 
outside of your camper. I don't know why. I think it's like an unspoken thing. But this kid didn't know that, I guess, or we didn't at the time, and he ended up coming into our camper and we were playing with Lincoln Logs. And, like, he wouldn't leave. <laughs> And then the next year he was there again and we hid from him because we were bad children. <laughs> to be fair, like it was just like we couldn't get him to leave and we we were not raised to be confrontational. So we weren't going to be like, get out. So that was a, just an awkward moment. But back to the reasoning of why I brought up Lincoln Logs. Um, if you've never seen Lincoln Logs before, that whole tangent wouldn't make sense of, or as to why I brought it up without my explanation. But that is what um, this whole youth center is based off of because Granite Falls there is one cabin that has the whole like dark brown wood green um green roof and then red kind of whatever and I had built a Lincoln Log cabin based off that so then I was like you know what the youth center really doesn't fit anymore the way I put it so and I just I didn't love it so then I decided to make it like this and I don't think when I first designed it seasons was out I could be totally wrong on this but originally my plan was to make this youth center and try to make this like a club gathering area but you can't do that I found out afterwards so it's just a place where when you go camping you can come here and then do scouts activities I connected these two tables to make like a long table the outside I spend a lot more time on than I did the inside. Like the inside's not very intricate. This is originally a movie hangout um, spot thing that they created, so it was fairly empty. I've tried to think of how this could be made into a house, and I genuinely cannot see it as a house because this this was originally like completely empty in the house and then there was uh like a, a movie thing outside and I can't think of this as a house so I'm trying to think of like how this could be a house and I've thought of that thought of it since then and I'm like maybe someday I will make this into a house I don't know when also if you ever see any weird rough cuts in my um in my builds it's because I don't film them all at once, usually, uh, unless it's like a shorter build where I take like 30-ish minutes. Usually it's 30-minute cuts or whatever uh, because it just kind of overrides my gaming system. And again, the inside's not super intricate because I also wanted it to be a place uh, where you could bring your adult sims and have them hang out. Like It's just like a family place to be but it's mainly for like kids. So like this is like you went to uh, YMCA, no. Like say you go to like a resort and there's like the place where you drop off your children so you can go hang out and not deal with them. Um, like something like that. Fun fact, this is another random tangent that I didn't even think of. I once went on a Disney cruise with my family uh, and me and my cousin, our parents dropped us off in like the youth area because we asked to because we thought it'd be fun. But then we got really, really bored and you can't leave unless your parents allow you to. And so we asked, they, they called our parents, but our parents were watching the Michigan State game and didn't answer their phones. And we were like, we hate it here. This is so boring. We want to leave. <laughs> this is so stupid. So there was like, it's like when you go on the subway and there's those little, like, you go through those things. So there was that. And we like tried to slip out. But then my cousin got scared and wimped out. So I tried to slip back in. But they caught me, and then I, they were like, you can't come in without whatever, and I was like, no, I've already been here. Well, we got to the end of the build. <laughs> Thanks for listening to my random ranting. See you guys next time. Bye.